The way I would describe a digital twin is it's a virtual replica of something that's real. You can have a digital twin of a person, such as a medical patient. You can have a digital twin of a place, like a city. Or you could have a digital twin of a thing, whether it's a farm or a car. So it's a way of representing something from the physical world in the digital form, but allows us to have a conversation with data. Depending on what that digital twin is designed to capture and measure and sense, you could learn interactively about that place, person, or thing in real time. And unlike a traditional simulation or model, it's two ways. We can tell it stuff, it can tell us stuff. It's not just a one-way street, and I think that is the biggest difference uh, and the biggest step forward that digital twins represent. Leaders are increasingly not just focused on the future, but are uh, trying to absorb as much of, of an understanding of that future as possible, which means they've, they've shifted their view to listening to some things that might be terrifying at some level, and I get this all the time, it's part fascination and part terrifying. And if it isn't, I'm not doing a very good job of articulating where all these things are going. We're at a point in history where for the first time in over 100 years, I'm seeing a number of factors come together that helps me believe in that further advancement of human development. And that's why there's a belief in 2023 we're going to see an expansion of not just digital twins, but its application.